Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get started. Peter Chen is with Beyond Global Trade, and he's going to be talking about uh, Beyond Global Trade on the blockchain powered by Stratus. So please help me welcome Peter Chen. Hi everybody. I guess literally they saved the best for last, right? <laughs> So uh, thank you, everybody, to uh, join me today. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, our project with Stratus. Um, how many of you are familiar with Stratus? OK, great, great. Um, there, we're one of their verified ICOs, what they're doing. Um, so what we're doing is we're building international trade, which is import and export on blockchain. So uh, this is our portfolio. You guys want to take a look at that? Uh, we work with pretty much all the major companies um, throughout the world with branded merchandise from Marvel, Disney, Microsoft, Activision. And uh, by show of hands, how many of you guys recognize these brands? All of you guys? Pretty sure, right? Right? All right, cool. It makes it easier now if you guys know these brands, right? Okay, <laughs> and then um, if you guys want to notice here, there's NetEase, and also there's uh, Tencent here, which... For if you don't know, these are two of the largest online retailers. Well, NetEase is an online retailer. Tencent is one of the largest communication providers over in China. So just to let you know. And um, here's our services. Um, Beyond Manufacturing, this is uh, my company. It's been uh, over about 15 years. It's an ongoing company. And we've been in, in the uh, trade business, uh, branded promotional business for over 15 years um, here, both US and also in China. Um, we have we won several awards on our services and our design. Um, we our service includes design, manufacturing, distribution. Um, obviously, there's a lot of that included into each of these uh, segments. Um, we have 15 years of track records, um, successful track records um, here in the U.S. and over in China. Okay, uh, here are some of our awards. Uh, we we won uh, numerous design awards on our. Uh, designs, uh, which we work with uh, Bacardi, um, uh, Grey Goose, uh, to name a few. Um, you know, I have about over 10 patents worldwide uh, here in the U.S. over in China. Uh, we're the highest rated in our industry. Um, so we know what we're doing in terms of global trade and designs and so forth. And this is really my passion. Um, always create the new stuff. Um, there you go. Um, so a little bit about global trade. So this is very powerful. The whole global trade is over $100 trillion. That's a lot of freaking money, right? <laughs> a lot of freaking money, $100 trillion. Um, and because of the number of years and experience we had in the global trade, I see the issues and problems with the global trade. So one of the problems, well, major problem with global trade is, look at all this. This is how many hands before you get a product, this is number of layers of people that you're gonna go through to get it. Okay, that's, look at that. Every single one of these, it's a layer of markup. Okay, so people have to make money, right? Right, so look at all those layers. So there's a lot of, over, there's too many layers, which creates overlapping communications, and it wastes a lot of time because there's so many different parties involved in getting approvals, and obviously increases in cost, and all that equals to dramatically we, uh, increases in risk. And that's where all the problem comes in. And that's why you hear a lot about the compliance issues and uh, you know, sweatshops and, um, and lead and the products and that's where it all ties into. So compliance is one of the things that is very, very important now. Um, as a consumer, um, you, you wanna make sure that your products are safe. You wanna make sure that the product is being made at the, a factory that has a compliance and they know what they're doing and so forth. So um, all of our factories that we work with are factory compliance. They, uh, every single product has to be product tested. If it's in um, Europe, it's called CE, or in US, it's called ASTM or uh, CPSIA. So forth. depending on what type of product, um, all products have to be tested as well. Um, counterfeits, this is one of the biggest issues. I'm sure everyone's aware of that. So over $461 billion of US dollars in counterfeits. Just counterfeits alone in global trade is $461 billion. And 86% of that is from China and Hong Kong. Imagine that, huh? 
this much money of the counterfeits is for 86 percent of that is for um, China, Hong Kong, and one of the major issues, obviously, is the expired goods as well being recycled and put it back into the market. Um, this is this is a report from GIPC, which is part of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and you guys can look this up on the internet. So. Um, one of the issues that in global trade is extremely tedious um, for most companies. If you want to get involved with it, you have to find the right vendor or cus and customers. If you're a U.S. importer, you have to find the right factory, and you, if you're a factory, you got to find the right uh, fact uh, cus customer. So it's it's one way with the other, and it's very tedious to find the right partner, um, and also bringing a product to the market. Um, on top of that, purchase orders is always uh, 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 an issue, um, getting that placed and make sure it's cons clean and concise. And obviously, financing is, is, is one of the issues as well, too. Um, right now, we lose about a week just for international wiring. Um, customer wire to us, we get it, we verify it, make sure it's right, then we turn around and send it over to the factory. That takes about a week. Um, if you, uh, Kaylin, if you don't mind, um, there's some couple of samples over there if you want to pass it around. And I wanted to show you guys some live projects that we've done. Um, there's some, um, yeah, there's two. So one of the pro live projects we've done is uh, right there is uh, Twitch Pillow. How, you, how many of you guys know Twitch? Twitch, right? Okay, so you guys are okay, great. So we did this project for Twitch. Okay, so if you guys want to take a look at it, you see all this testing. All right, we have the uh, factory compliance, we have the law label, we have the um, law label for registration labels, we have the uh, um, um, stuffing labels, we have a, a labeling for Canada, we have labeling for, uh, for Europe, the factory needs to be certified and everything has to be CPSIA. So it's an extremely tedious process and then that product was being, being sold on Amazon. And if you guys want to like, and pull up your phones and go to Amazon and type in Twitch Pillow, and you'll see that product right there and then. And um, I'm sorry, who's that with the, with the pillow right now? Okay, can you read on that uh, on the law label? Can you see, what does it say? Did it say beyond manufacturing on it? Okay, great. So you guys know that I'm a real company, right? I'm doing my stuff, right? So just wanna make sure that you guys know that I am a real company and that's one of the things that I get a lot of questions when I step into the crypto spaces are you a real company? Well, <laughs> yes, I am with real product. Fun products, actually, as well. So what we want to do is we want to improve global trade, okay? So what we want to do is we team, that's why we team up with Stratus because they're, they have a powerful, powerful enterprise solutions on blockchain for what we want to accomplish. So what we want to do is we want to take all these little segments, I call it, and put up into one platform. So now that combined with our current white glove service, our current uh, uh, turnkey service, and then that provides a better source to market. So we want to go, we want to help uh, companies like a Twitch go directly from the factory to its consumer or, um, or anybody that has a product, we want to help them directly to source the market so everyone that gets involved uh, will be a more efficient process and it will be a lot more savings for the consumers, therefore you guys. Okay, so one of the um, things that we would definitely want to add uh, to um, our blockchain is the provenance, which means it's a track and, track and trace shipment um, of, the pr uh, of the product. Um, and Stratus have that, uh, that's available. Smart contract, that will help us out in a purchase order, so it will be a lot easier when we uh, process a particular project. Uh, obviously finance, um, you know, obviously you guys know what uh, all these Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stratus, but we will have our own token that we'll take for our global trade. So it will be more efficient on the finance side and more secure and more transparent. And while at that, we'll try to build up a community. In, in general, in the sum it up, it's like a, kind of like an olive oil, but we have more of a compliance. So any factories that we'll deal with, it's gonna go through our compliance. We'll make sure that it's checked. So you guys can look at the blockchain. So this is a compliance factory. It's a real factory um, and they pass all the uh, cert certifications that we're going to uh, that we're going to have. Uh, we'll also access factory to be compliance as well too. And say, hey, you know, we'll go th go into to check a factory. Say, hey, you know what? Because of this, this, you guys are not in compliance. We'll have our ground staff to help them to be compliance. 
Okay, and then we'll be uh, within our community, we're gonna help vendors and clients connect a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more safe because of the transparency that we're gonna build. And the money that we're gonna raise, we're actually gonna, by increasing our community, we're gonna invest into companies that we feel that could come into our community. So that's kind of uh, what Beyond Global Trade is. Uh, we're gonna use blockchain technology for provenance, smart contract finance, and also build up a community. Um, this will provide an efficient source to market process and prevent counterfeits. Um, global trade and blockchain is the perfect marriage. Anything that we're, we just talked about on blockchain is, is beautiful. Um, we actually, we have the clients now, not just here in the US, but also in China, uh, to test, execute, improve, and grow the, this technology. Obviously, there's gonna be challenges, roadblocks, but we have the clientele, we have the experience to do that. So in just a summary, think of this, think of Beyond and um, Stratus, SGS, which is a testing uh, company, Alibaba, Amazon, uh, BCS, uh, BCSI, um, and also ASI, which is our community. We're putting all this together onto a blockchain, so it makes it really a three-dimensional. Um, that's how we're building a blockchain. And yes, we can. Um, you know, people ask us how you could really do this. Uh, yeah, we can because um, an idea without uh, execution is a dream, but an idea with execution is a reality. Um, you know, we have the experience and client base and re relationship to execute. So let's help me make this a reality. And um, here's a, our customer base again. So kind of to uh, sink that in, we work with the largest clients. And we want to work with the largest clients, and we see that blockchain could really help all these people, and it's definitely the import, export, and global trade. And um, please follow us on the, our our uh, social media. Um, you know the details of our ICOs are coming soon, but really it's helped us to build a community, to have a more of a trust and more transparent community. And um, thank you very much for uh, staying here and uh, listening to me talk and uh, share my passion a little bit. Great, thank you. <laughs> you have any questions? Sure. Sure. Right. Okay, so your question is how do we simplify the process? Is that because of the, all the different segments? Okay, so we're, what we're doing is it's a very open, transparent uh, type of service. Basically what we will do is if we have a client, we'll go, hey, we'll be very transparent. We'll go, here's our factory. This is what they do and we could help you. We're basically acting as a consultant for them to go in directly help them to set everything and basically connect that bridge. We're not going in to make any markups. Um, we're, we're here to build our community and build our, on and put everything on blockchain. So everything will be on added to just open transparent. So in the, in the future, what they have to do is we don't even need to get involved once the community is built. Just imagine like an Alibaba, but it's all compliance, they could just go direct. And they did all the, the come to our platform, okay, and then pay us with, with whatever the tr transaction is, pay us in our tokens, and be done with. It, it depends, it depends, that's a very good question. So how do we determine pricing? Um, it depends on what type of clients, what the level of service that they need and we'll go from there. Because every single client from versus factory, every solution is different. So we have to understand what the particular needs are and we we'll provide that service for them. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so okay, how would the ba factory benefit? Easy, we'll give them clients. We have the clientele that we have. We say, hey, here's our criteria of this particular client, okay, and this is the pretty much this is the volume that we give you. So you give us your best price, and then we want to be transparent on all of our pricing. Um, it's a negotiation tactic that we have. So everyone can say, hey, 
for you to produce this order or for X amount, we will book your factory for X amount of days, X amount of quantity, uh, type of uh, materials that you guys buy. Um, so those are the negotiations we'll go in. It depends on what the client's needs are. So we'll, it, it actually what we'll do is we'll help the factory find clients to match it better. So hey, come join us, we'll help you find the right client for you. And that's one of the issues going on over in China because now China's um, labor laws and pricing, cost of uh, workmanship, it's all going up. They're moving more towards uh, Vietnam or other areas. So those are a lot unstable right now. So with this, what actually helped China to re be competitive again and, and pro products because we're removing a lot of layers. They can go directly to the customers um, and the markup is gonna be leveraged so more, it's, it's more stable as far as production. Okay, sure. Okay, that's a very good question. How do we prevent counterfeits, in other words? So on our blockchain, we will have a track and trace program so we know where it's being made, shipped, and who's receiving it in X amount of quantity and pieces. So we, all you have to do is scan that particular product, all that information will come up. If it's out of whack, let's say that we ship 10,000 and you know 10,000 pieces and 10,100 pieces came up, then we know that way if that 100 piece came from and we could start there to do our investigation and track it backwards that who did that, who actually produced the additional quantity pieces. Whereas before, you don't know. You don't know where the additional pieces came from. And that was the issue. But now at least we have some leads to find out where it came from. And from that lead, we could go in and trace and investigate. How do we deal with the people with the copycats? That's actually an excellent question. Um, we'll find these copycats, we'll figure a way how to deal with them. See, one of the things that's beautiful about our platform is we know if they're doing copycats. One of the, if you go back to the slide, I don't know if you remember, one of the slides we help factories to be compliance. That's one of the issues that we want to go and say, hey, you guys are doing copycats. However, we could help you become legitimate and we will give you clients, so stop copycatting. Well, that's the whole thing is that we gotta get them on our platform, right? <laughs> so it's 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 hard. I mean, it's it's a, it's a global trade. It's a hundred dollar trillion. It's a hundred trillion dollar industry, you know. And counterfeits is gonna happen. It's never gonna stop. We're not gonna, you know, by all means, I'm not. It's there's no way to stop that. But we can reduce it. We can start preventing that, and we can still build that awareness through our platform and through our community. Okay. Any question? Yes. Really, it's uh, people who hold the license, licensed goods or branded goods. People who has the original brand of that, uh, of that. let's say Disney. Disney has a lot of uh, companies that, that holds their license to apply for the license, and those are our clients. Yes. Yes. No, they d uh, what they don't, but those are our, those are our target market. That's our phase one that we're talking with uh, people with brands. So we could put that on a blockchain. That's what we do, and that's what we do best. And then we could, from that, we could grow from there. Our future is to help and stop more counterfeits. Uh, one of the biggest issues over in China right now is one is uh, baby, uh, baby milk powder. Second one is drinking wine. And through blockchain, I see the possibility there's it's definitely possible to stop those two uh, um, issues over in China and really across the globe. There you go. There you go. Yes. Okay. 
it, it, Africa is like you said, it's an emerging market. Um, you know, our main service or our service territories are really U.S. and China. Those are the number one, and number two uh, global economies right now. But through our platform, we are looking for partnerships in each different region. Um, you know, foot soldiers over in Africa and so forth. So we, I mean, yeah, would definitely be interested and in see if, there, if there's any cooperation in that. Um, I know that Africa is definitely an emerging market, and there's a lot of areas um, that could be helped on with blockchain. But it's an emerging market, so a lot of times you got to be careful to see if it's really needed at this time. Whereas right now, U.S. is definitely needed, and also China is definitely needed as well. So it's like a progress. Yes, no, no, no. It's definitely needed. It's definitely needed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Yes, we're definitely looking to expand to those uh, type of territories. Um, what we have to do is really analyze what is the need for it, and then we go from there, and then we analyze, okay, what are the compliance going to Africa, if there's any at all at this time. But at the same time, what are you looking for, the product and services to go, go through that? I mean, in, uh, in all honesty, trade, it's all the same. It's just different clients with you know, different factors, but different solutions. But in a nutshell, the whole structure is pretty much, you know, about 80, 90 percent is all the same. It's just that 10 percent gets people like, okay, I don't know what to do here. And that's what the, uh, you know, so, but yeah, Africa is definitely one of the areas that we definitely want to expand into. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yes. Oh, it's, it, we're building a global platform right now. So when you invest in, you're buying a low and um, help us grow this community. Yes, yeah, so it will be in a public exchange. Uh, we're working with Stratus. Stratus can help us out. Um, as soon as we launch it, it's going to be on a public exchange, so we'll be traded. So right now, you're buying at a, if you do invest into it, you're investing at a very good time frame. I mean, okay, any other questions? Perfect, great. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for your time. I got to catch a plane now. <laughs> Thanks again, Peter. And thank you for coming to the conference. Just want to remind you that. Um, we have another conference coming up in the fall in September, so check out the website for that and get in on the early bird special. I hope you, that you've had a great time and you've learned a lot, made a lot of uh, uh, great connections, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.